Hi, boys and girls. Today is day two of explorations. Today we get to use dominoes to sort those dominoes into categories based on even and odd numbers. Let me show you where to find those dominoes. If you notice my page, I pulled up um, your student book and on your student book, you have a section that's green and there are shapes on there and it says e-tools. You're going to want to click those e-tools. When I click the e-tools, you'll just see a blank space, okay? So what you have to do is you have to um, find the words e-tools at the very bottom. And these are in ABC order. So we're going to go to the D's. We're gonna find D for domino. It's a good thing Mrs. Richard taught us about ABC order so we can find dominoes pretty quickly. So here is the word dominoes. There's also a picture right beside it. So click on the word dominoes. Let me move this thing out of the way. All right, so I want to use all of my dominoes. So I am going to click on the word or click on the picture that says all. I'm going to grab it and pull it out here, okay? Now, there are three categories that I am going to be sorting my dominoes into. Let me show you what those are. And you can actually write these on your page too so that you know which categories you're working with. So I am going to make a category that is going to be all even. You can write this yourself or you can use the text box. It's up to you. I'll use the text box for the next one. Put your clicker where you want it to go and then write. This one is going to be all odd numbers in the domino. And then I have one more category and that is going to be if a domino has one group of even dots and one group of odd dots. So my next one is going to be even and odd. So I'm going to write even and odd. I will show you what I mean when I start sorting these dominoes out. Okay, so here we go. These are my three categories that I'm going to use. Like I said, you can write these on your, um, in your eTools space as well. So I have my, whoops, if you write on there, you have to turn your pencil off by clicking this button down here that it looks like a square and it looks like a letter A. So click that and you'll see your dominoes again. That's really important to do. All right, so I pulled all of my dominoes out, but I don't want them to give me the dominoes in order. So I'm going to press the word shuffle and it's going to mix all of the dominoes up. And that's really good because I like to look at the dominoes, not in order, but in a different way. All right, so if I click the word go, it's going to give me one of those dominoes in the stack. So press the word go and look, there's the domino that I saw on my stack. I can see that there are five dots on one side and I know five is an odd number and there are zero dots on the other side and I know that zero is an even number. So this particular domino has an even number and an odd number. So I'm going to move this domino into the even and odd category because it's got both. Click the word go again, maybe a couple times. And I see that on the left side, there are six dots. And on the right side, there are nine dots. I know six is an even number, I know nine is an odd number, so this domino is also going to get put into the even and odd category. Press the word go two times until it gives it to you at least. And I see I have a five on one side and I've got four on the other. Again, that's an odd number and an even number, so I'm gonna put it in that category. Press go again, 
five on the left side and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the right side. So I know five is an odd number. Eight is an even number. Wow. I wonder if I'm ever going to get a domino that goes into the other categories. Let's see if we can find one. Okay, I see nine dots on the left, zero dots on the right. That is going to go into the even and odd category. Ah, here we go. Finally, a domino that's going to go in a new category. So I'm gonna press the go and it's gonna give me this domino so that I can move it around. One is an odd number and three is an odd number. So I get to move this domino into the all odd category. I wonder how long it's going to take me to get a domino that's going to go in the even category. Six is an even number and two is an even number. Oh, that didn't take very long at all. So both of these sets of dots are even numbers. Just a reminder about even and odd numbers. If you have an even number, each dot is going to have a partner or a buddy. If you have an odd number, there's going to be a dot that's left out that doesn't have a partner or a buddy. So think about that when you are trying to decide if a number is even or odd. I want you to have a lot of fun with this. Remember those three categories, all even, all odd, or one even and one odd group of dots. Hope you have a fun time playing with this today. Again, this is our exploration day. Um, and I want you guys to have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow.